Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look again on the gold market. So it seems that gold market is coming to resolving of the so so called as dead point currently because uh, as you can see market stands in a tight range within the few weeks already, no direction, mostly it could be described in an indecision price action. Because the factors, the driving factors that we have on the market mostly uh, drive the forex market and it has big relation to uh, Euro currency to the Great British Pound and stocks, pounds across the board. So, but gold currently stands a bit in the shadow of these markets, and uh, they, they have impact on the, on the gold as well, but indirectly. The most important driving factor was uh, United States-China relation, but as this factor is changing every time and. Uh, it becomes weaker and weaker, and, and I will not be surprised in, in, if market, market participants, the traders, uh, will eliminate this factor in general and out of their attention. And because, well, it's really uh, in recent time it has really limited impact on the markets across the board. At the same time, uh, currently the fundamental background that we have on this week stands relatively friendly to the market because we have few issues that could support gold in the coming week. First of all, we have the bad retail sale data, uh, data on, on the recent week in the United States. As you know, retail sales is the major component of the, of the gross domestic product and uh, traders, investors, and analysts use this data for, for, to forecast the gross domestic product because it takes the 70% of the GDP and uh, it uses widely for different statistical regression models to, be, to uh, make the forecast of the gross domestic product. Another advantage of the retail sales that is that it, it releases monthly, while the gross domestic product releases quarterly. And that makes it a very comfortable tool to make the forecast of the gross domestic product. And when you see that retail sales uh, shows bad numbers and markets reacts accordingly, you need to know that traders start to take the position on the common weaker gross domestic product release. That's the first moment. Second, on the table right now stands the Fed rate card on October, but also it is widely expected the common should be more dovish from the Fed. Because if you'll take a look at the expectation of the investors in the perspective till the April, you will see that another rate card stands on the table right now and it's treated as very probable within the nearest uh, six months. Finally, the Brexit postponing is also uh, will be gold supportive because this lasting uh, this journey with the Brexit is uh, investors just are tired from this already. So and uh, that def definitely will be not 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 really positive factor. And I suppose that on the uh, forex market we will see the reaction as well. And that what we have talked about in the last week because as I said. Despite that it's really victory relations, Victorian relations stands in the, in the news, uh, the problem is so uh, so significant that it can't be resolved just by um, easily, and it have a lot of uh, pitfalls uh, that stands on the road to final solution that will make impact on this agreement in the future. And uh, personally, I'm not really very surprised that this has happened, but we will see. Anyway. The Brexit postponing is also a supportive factor. Finally, the poor uh, gross domestic product data in the China is also will be uh, additional plus to the gold. Uh, that's why I'm not excluding the chance that on the common week gold will find some power to abandon this consolidation that we see right now. In general, as we, as we said previously, we think that gold stands positive because especially on the weekly chart. So if you'll take a look at the weekly chart, you will see that gold stands in the tight range, which takes the shape of the flag. And you see actually on this chart as well, 
Uh, gold stands above the nearest FIB support level, so it hasn't reached even nearest 30% support. So that was, that is really tight standing below the top. Overall downward action is very slow and choppy. So it, 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 this is not the way how the major retracement is developing. Usually when the reversal has happens, uh, happens especially e e even when the retracement on the vehicle chart, that should be stronger. But this action mostly reminds the consolidation before either breakout or at least final leg of the rally before major retracement will start. That's why we still keep hope on the possible final spike up, back to the top, or even in the sitting of the rest and top around 1556, as you can see, forming on the second top of the double repo cell patch and maybe on the vehicle chart. So something, something of that sort. Uh, speculative positions on the gold also shows positive sentiment. Despite it was contracted a bit, uh, has contracted a bit, uh, but overall position stands net long and they stand somewhere near the uh, top level. It means that some short-term uh, speculative traders have abandoned the goal to fixing the profit, closing the positions, but the major traders, long-term traders, still keep gold in the pockets. It means that uh, overall gold still, still stand positive and we suggest that sooner probably rather than later, but we will see this uh, upper action. Maybe it will even happen on the common week, as I said, because overall background is friendly right now. So from the technical point of view, that's really not a lot of information. Uh, gold market doesn't provide us uh, valuable patterns uh, and makes us to work with the ext more extended, larger patterns. So actually, the only thing that we have here is that this channel of wage pattern, as we talked about it previously, uh, that actually looks like the flag on the weekly chart. That's the only thing that we have. Despite that, we have inside of the flag some grabber first, and this was reversal session, but they actually have really limited impact on the price. So I wouldn't say that some, something really valuable has happened by these patients uh, formed. Now, the only important thing that I see right now inside of this wedge is these lows. Because by the classical analysis, if market turns in opposite direction before it, it, it reaches the uh, up, uh, opposite border, lower border of the, of the consolidation, that could be the early sign of the breakout, the common breakout. That's the classical uh, tool of the analysis. And currently, gold stands accurately right in the middle of this range without downward continuation. As I said, the fundamental background is friendly. And uh, that makes me think that gold really has all chances to finally break this consolidation and set the direction on the daily chart. That's the thing that we will keep an eye on in the coming week. On the four-hour time frame chart, gold also doesn't look really bearish. So, in fact, uh, it has formed godless chipple to buy. Yes, it can't still start in the upper direction, but at the same time, it's not uh, dropping lower. So it turns inside some kind of the triangle consolidation and take a look inside the triangle and last week it has formed bullish grabber that suggests the taking out of this top actually and it, uh, correspondingly it suggests the breakout of this triangle to the upside. When the market will move above the 15 even, that could be the starting point of the upper continuation and maybe particularly this triangle and this grabber could put the foundation of the possible breakout of this flag. Who knows? Uh, this is possible. The problem only stands with the position taken. So it's very difficult currently to estimate the really uh, safe moment for taking of the position because on the daily chart, we do not have anything. On the four hour time frame chart, well, we have triangle, we have grabber that we could stick with, but uh, this is simultaneously enough because we have the patient, but at the same time, this is not enough just because of the recent action on the daily chart. It's too choppy and too wide. So sometimes, uh, if you would like to trade the gold, uh, the alternative solutions, there are just two of them. So first, you could uh, use either stop, stop buy order when the market starts breaking from this channel somewhere either above 1520 or above 15, at, at least uh, 15 even, so just using stop buy order. Or alternatively, you could take small position just 10, maybe 20% of your regular trading volume on the gold and place far stop somewhere below 15, uh, 1450. So 
when you stand inside of the potentially bullish consolidation, but you do not have clear bullish signs on the current time frame, sometimes you could use it. Well, it's a bit maybe not that as attractive as uh, our usual tools, but currently we do not have any choice. The only choice that we have is just to sitting on the hands and do nothing. It's also a probable uh, solution of the current situation, but uh, we're talking still about the possible position taking. So either use small position with the far stop using stop buy order or trying to stick with the triangle uh, and this grabber inside of it. So currently I do not see any other tools that we could use. Uh, the only thing that I could say is that uh, we do not have any bearish context right now. So I wouldn't sell gold in the current moment and, uh, and do not consider even taking any bearish position right now. So that is some ideas to think about in this weekend uh, to plan your trades on the common week because I suppose I, I just feel something that on the coming week, the coal market indeed could show some surprises and finally could start the uh, direct action. So it seems that it's really possible on the background that we have.